guys baker boys and we're back with another video today we're going to be doing the hunter bin building was built in 1964 and it's been sitting here it's well built um the roof was just pretty rotten and we want to do a new roof design so it's uh tight and there's no holes for critters to get in putting the main beams up on top of the roof we're going to go ahead and get these rafters up on top of the building okay so we got the tin for our hunter bin this is the building um, as you can see where are those holes there's a hole right there and right there where mice and uh, predators were getting in and the roof pretty bad as you can see so we're probably gonna knock it all down and make we have a flat frame for the roof that we're gonna use and we're going to build sides off of it so it'll fit on this roof. We got some garden stuff in here right now, but that's the, the steel, uh, stainless steel stuff that we have all along here. And we're going to have to we're going to have to change that to tin. We're inside of this barn and we're just taking some of these beams out and uh we're positive the barn won't fall on us, so this is what we're going to use for our roofing. That's most of the wood that we're going to be using for the roof. Guys, we found this plywood. I'm not sure if I got it on camera. But we've got this plywood. We've got four sheets. And then we've got our main long beams that are going to go across. And we're probably going to find more than that because those are pretty old. But it's way better than what's in there. I promise you that. Okay, so we got most of the plywood off over here. Just on this level, not up there. And we can see through to where Jared's working at it. I've got this hole going right here. You're just gonna knock out a couple boards for us. Making some progress. I think we got four panels open. How many are left? Um we got four more to go. So so we're halfway. Whacker! Yeah! Well, we're getting somewhere. So, uh, after we get all these panels out, I believe we're gonna try and start cutting these. And we hope that it kind of falls in here so we can reach it better and take it apart. We just went and grabbed this bar, we're gonna see how it works. Oh yeah, that's a lot faster. It's so heavy. Yeah, that's solid. Wow. It's quite the mess we got here. There you go. Keep her going. It's so heavy. Alright, you guys get the point. We're knocking these sections out now, so hopefully it'll just cave in and we can take it apart that way. you got like right there that one's gonna hold it up we should knock that one out and then we should be good all right she's Carolina squatting right now Ooh. there she goes <laughs> let's let's go let's go inside oh this is gonna be a lot easier to work on now She's a foldable house. <laughs> this trailer, and we kinda, I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if 
know if you guys can see that, but we put a bolt in because we don't have a pin. And now we're gonna load everything up into this and put it in the burn pile. Load of wood right here off at the brush pile. Let's see how many we can get. Empty. Another full load. Trailer's empty. We got another load. Guys, we believe this is the second to last load. We had a casualty in the making, but we'll deal with it. What the heck? Ah, uh, Nathan? What are you doing up there? Oh, it's just the Baker Tree Service, okay? I see. We don't, we don't follow OSHA rules here. <laughs> So right now, we've got this entire inside cleaned out. Jared did most of that. And uh, right now, I just put a notch in right there for these beams to go across the roof. We're gonna have one right here, right from that corner to that corner, and then two of them in the middle. So that'll give us our slant and our roof. I just have to cut out the other three slots for these, uh, boards to go across the roof. Alright guys, so we've got this beam in right there, and now we're doing this one. Um, Jared had to leave for just a little bit. Pretty sure he'll be back tonight. Um, I'm just going to try and get those notches cut, put everything in a place. I just got all the nails out of those big long boards. As you can see, there's a bunch in there. Um, that took a while, and then I managed to slide these up on top of there and then use a stool and kind of bounce them i don't know how to explain it i would like pull down and it would make it jump off of that point so then i'd push it like mid-air and i got them all along there so we're gonna put the most warped ones in the middle so then we can bolt them together and then the straighter ones on the outside which i have done already this wasn't a little unexpected to do but right now we're changing uh, the tires on the trailer because we had a flat tire Right there's the rim that we're gonna put this tire on the last tire was full of holes and uh, Did not hold air whatsoever. So this will be an upgrade right, That was a hassle right there, but got it on so now I'm gonna add some of this extra heavy-duty bead sealer on the bead uh, top and bottom or inside and outside and then I'm gonna fill her with some PSI Good everyone, so we're finally at the trailer. I had to go ahead and replace uh, I can't remember. It's like a needle seal basically inside of there Yeah, I replaced that because it was leaking but the bead sealed on both sides did good so um, We'll know for sure in the morning if it's if it's flat or not, but I, I believe it's gonna hold up good. So we're gonna go ahead and use the impacator wrench and get this thing on there so we don't have to worry about it anymore. I feel for the next person that has to take this off because they're gonna have to have an impacator, but uh, I'm not messing around anymore <laughs> with this dang tire, so. Um, could possibly me in the future so sorry future me guys so Jared while I was putting those rafters up Jared used a manure shovel and got all the scrap and everything out of the building as you can see the rafters are up uh, we got a ladder here from our old roof it had a, um, a window opening there for air and sunlight but uh, Jared where's the yeah, Jared just brought over the shop back, so we're going to go ahead and uh, vacuum out all this nasty stuff 
probably take that shelf out and then rebuild it to be a, a little wider because we're going to have a roost up in this corner and possibly go across here. But right now we just have to worry about the roof. We ran to Tyson's this morning and got L brackets for, it's going to be right on that side and right on that side. I cut grooves in the lip there, as you can see, running from each side. So our support beam will run across and uh, support the tin that we're going to put on here. So now that I'm up here, you can see this notch that I made a lot easier. Um, we're going to have all the beam hang off towards this door so like if it's raining or anything we can just have a little bit of an awning to kind of get out of the rain and then um we're gonna do that continuing over there and we're gonna have this middle beam but we got to measure from uh this side to that side to see the middle so then we can put the beam directly in the middle Guys, so Jared's ripping out this lining on the inside and getting all of that. As you can see, there's a bunch of bedding. We found snake skins, um, just mouse nests and everything. So we're taking this out. We're going to put two by fours all along the inside. And then this time we're going to put uh, really fine chicken wire uh, all along the outside here so we can actually see inside of there. All right, guys. So it's been probably an hour, but we've got... That all done right there on both sides, down there. And Jared and I are just um, putting brackets all across here. It's gonna stand upright, and that's gonna give us our angle for our roof for the rain to run off. But um, we did some more cleaning on the inside, got all the tin off. I just took some out, put it over there. Um, that's. And we're still going to clean out all this stuff and then put two by fours along the bottom there. Um, we'll get this up and then we'll start on that. Are you drilling? <laughs> There's too much torque on this one. It's a diesel. Again. Move, move your head. Oh, it looks like you made it. Two more to go. Yeah. What are you doing? What? I'm show me, off. show me what's on there. That's a sanding wheel, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we've got this metal beam all screwed together, and well bolted together, and we were putting this L bracket in, and show them, yeah. Have you ever seen a drill bit do that? It just snapped off inside the screw. Um, give a round of applause for Craftsman, everyone. Oh, hey there. <laughs> there she goes. She's standing it. I'm making a fire. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> Oh, I was going the wrong way. Wow! <laughs> Guys, that side's all done with the brackets. Now we're starting on this one. Um, no copyright music. <laughs> Guys, so we got both the L brackets done on both sides. So, as you can see, it's getting pretty dark out. It's not as dark on camera, but it's dark. And uh, me and Jared are pretty tired because we got up at like 6, was it? 6:30. We're gonna clean this mess up, and then we're just gonna go inside and probably uh, relax for the night. Date on the chicks, everyone. They're doing great, and they're just about to go to bed. So, see you guys in the morning. Guys, it is the next morning, and me and Nathan came up with a game plan. So these are our first beams that we did yesterday, as you saw us do, and then we have these beams we're gonna put one right there one where Nathan is sawing and then one right here you can see that 
and then we are going to run tin or no we're going to run plywood on top of that and then tin on top of that and hopefully it should be good and if we need to we can seal um all the way around with some more wood or something just if we need to though but we're for sure going to need to seal over there because it's a pyramid type style roof so that's what we're doing all right guys so we just marked these pieces of wood um, they're 16 feet long and we marked them at eight we're cutting them in half and jared already cut this one these are going to be uh run, ran three across just like that one on each side so we're going to have one extra but it won't hurt to have extra in case we mess up so uh, our roof is going to be a lot stronger guys so we've got our beams all screwed in there there and there on everything um, we're gonna put two on the ends shorter ones here and there and then we still have to put our middle beams in guys so uh, we've got all the beams in that we need except for these back ones we're still gonna have to find some wood for that but uh, we're getting the plywood up so like in one of the recent past videos we are gonna be saying goodbye to another tractor this time it's a 1466 um we got this in when did we get that november? november we got it we got it in november but we can make a profit off of it so we're gonna resell it and buy something bigger guys so the tractor has been sold sun is in my eyes but uh we're gonna get this roof done and we'll show you when we're done because it's really hard to film up here yeah, it's supposed to um, rain tomorrow and Thursday and maybe Friday. So we're going to try to um, get the roof done so we can work on the inside while it's raining. Yeah, we got we to gotta make double time on this roof. See ya. All right, guys. <laughs> we're almost done with the roof here. We've got one more panel put in. And that tree is in the way, so we're going to have to like cut it out to fit there. And we're going to cut this too, to match that and that. And this is a piece of choice that's going to go there. So we're going to cut that out, and then we can start laying the tin down. All right, guys, so it's been a while since last time you saw us, but we've got all that plywood up. I'm not sure if we got any of that on camera. But uh, we're staying out late because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. But uh, right here, I've got about three-fourths of this done on my side. And then Jared has got his side. He's got longer pieces. We're just going to have to cut those off. But I've been kind of just fitting all these square ones and shorter ones, getting them right along the edge there. So we're going to keep working on this. Um, we can't film very long, so... You'll probably see us in the morning. So see you then. Guys, the roof is all done. Except for having to cut those two or those three off. But other than that, the roof's done. It's all tinned. So now we can start patching the holes on the front and the back side, which we're most likely going to do with um, thick chicken wire and uh, two by fours. And then we can start working on the inside tomorrow. See you guys in the morning. Guys, it's the morning. Um, it's raining right now. So it's a perfect time to look around and see if we have any leaks in the roof. Um, Jared's sweeping the floor. I've got the Magnetron 9000 picking up all of the nails and screws and whatever we dropped while we were making this roof. So we're gonna continue to do that and just clean the inside of this poop while it's raining because we can't be outside, it's too cold and too wet. So uh, I might set up the camera for you guys to watch us do some cleaning and then uh, we'll start vacuuming all the bedding out and start lining the bottom of the coop with two by fours. All right guys. That is a, uh, just probably like three-fourths or half of the area that we just rolled over. <laughs> so we dropped a lot while we were working, so we're going to continue cleaning up 
and picking up these nails. We're going to see how well this goes. It does look like it picked up a lot in there, but the shop vac was a lost cause, so we're just going to start uh, using brooms and shovels to clean out all of the bedding on each layer. We're going to try and get it as clean as we possibly can, and Jared's just going to vibe with the big scoop shovel, so uh, let's get cleaning. One full shop vac load in the trash can is now looking a lot better than before. Um, once we get everything off the floor, we're probably gonna take like a little putty knife or something and try and scrape out all of that stuff because it's kind of, I don't know if it's chicken poop or water mixed with dust and dirt or all, all above, but we're gonna clean out these corners because eventually we're gonna be lining the bottoms about uh, halfway halfway up with two by fours so then we can't get any holes like this which is most likely from that musk or not muskrat from that mink and mice and stuff which uh, harmed our chickens so that is the reason why we're doing that so um let's get this all cleaned up and then we can start laying the boards down came inside for a break and jiminy is out somehow we gotta do a quick chicken count. I don't know how in the world he did that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and there, so we're good. None oh my of these god. Are... Jeez. Good thing we came in. For a break. He got up on the water dish. We need to. Yep. Alright. We've been on a little bit longer a break than we anticipated. Um, me and Jared went trail riding a little bit with four wheelers. And, um,. Got into some mud, so we're gonna have to wash the four wheelers off. But it was definitely worth it. So we'll get to uh, putting those two by fours along the bottom of the coop here pretty soon, and then we can start uh, putting chicken wire up and stuff inside of there. That, that's pretty. That's 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 how dirty it is right there. And then we got the Suzuki. Right here not as muddy because we don't want to get it too dirty but this thing we're just sending it aren't we Jared hey guys it has been a while um, we got done mudding and kind of driving around and stuff so right now there's gonna be a windstorm tomorrow so we are um, blocking all these holes around the coop like those right there so Jared is in here now and we've got all of that done so far. I don't know how much you can see but it's pretty much almost there. It's almost done. Um, Jared has just got a little hole over right there to fill and then I've got one over here. But um, we're going to have to find more screws tomorrow. But Jared's got enough screws to get his done. So it's it's coming along. And it looks pretty good. It's actually getting warm in here. Um, we'll just have to get some spray foam for all the bigger holes or small cracks that we can't fill with the wood. And then we're gonna try and get that tarp. And tomorrow we're we're moving the bottom, like lining the bottom with wood. We're moving that to tomorrow while it's raining and uh, storming. So then we can just be inside and do that. So Jared's gonna get this last board in and then we will be seeing you guys in the morning. Guys, it's like the third morning I think. Um, we're back in here and we're finally doing the, the bottom stuff. Guys, the lighting's bad in here, but so far we've got a panel there, 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 
and I just got done cutting this panel for this section here. It might be a little too big. And then we're going to have to do that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then we're going to try and find something to seal the panels next to the doors. And then the ultimate chicken coop will be done. Slightly too big. Slightly too big. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that little bit off. And then we can continue filling in all of these gaps. So yesterday, this is my side. We put those boards in so there's no more gap and we um, screwed them all in. We did it all the way around. So nothing's going to get in and nothing's going to get out if something's in there when we're in there. Yeah. We're gonna show you the inside because we just got that done and this chicken coop is ready. We've got all the top and bottom holes patched. So this this thing's ready for Armageddon on a chicken scale, not on human scale. But we're happy that it's done and we're glad that you guys stayed all the way to the end if you're watching this. Um, there's a lot of potential for this chicken coop and a lot of stuff we can do. So if you guys have any ideas for roosts or um, ways to make it stronger, just leave them down in the comments below. Our next chicken video will probably include us maybe building the roosts and we're going to set the fencing up outside and then we'll, I don't know if we'll do it in the same video, but we'll bed all this and we'll put the chickens in and see how they like it. We might do a little time lapse for a while. Show you guys how they like it. Guys, thank you for watching. Tune in to see what we do with this awesome chicken coop next.